Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m minus 2 to the power of 4 and its whole square root equals to 4 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to eliminate this square root sign in the left hand side. In order to eliminate this square root sign uh, we need to take the squaring on both of the sides in this form. So here first we need to take the squaring uh, and after that uh, you see here uh, these two and square root are gone and we will obtain here m minus 2 to the power of 4 equals to this 4 square equals to 16. And now further in the next step uh, we move this 16 in the left hand side and it will be written as here you have this is m minus 2 to the power of 4 we rewrite it as m minus 2 square <coughs> and its whole square we move this 16 in the left hand side as uh, 4 square and this is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need uh, to apply here the nice exponent the nice algebraic formula you know that uh, uh, if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here we have the value of a the va this is m minus 2 whole square be the value of a and 4 be the value of b and now here we need to substitute these two values in the right hand side of this equation or in this formula so it will be written as First you have a minus b, the value of a is m minus 2 square minus the value of b is 4 into second factor is a plus b. Again we have the value of a is m minus 2 square and the value of b is 4 and this is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need uh, more simplifications. We divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m minus 2 square minus 4 equals to 0. Uh, we call this is equation number one and the second factor is we write m minus two whole square plus four equals to zero and we call this is our equation number two so further in the next step we need to solve these two equations now first we focus in equation number one so that from equation number one we have we uh, we need to expand uh, the uh, this formula here so in equation number one we can apply this formula if you have a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus two times of a b so now we can apply this nice formula on both of these cases but now here uh, we will apply this formula in equation number one so when you apply this formula here it will be written as m square plus 2 square minus 2 times of m into 2 minus this is 4 equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications it will be written as m square plus this 2 square equals to 4 minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4m and this is minus 4 equals to 0. So this minus 4 and this plus 4 are cancelled out by each other and we get here the remaining values are m square minus 4m equals to 0. So now here uh, from uh, these two terms you see here we have m with a common term so that when you take common m we get the remaining values are m minus 4 equals to 0. So here we need more simplifications. Now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 4 equals to 0. So this is the our first real root of the given, given equation and now here we have m equals to this is plus 4. This is the second uh, root of the given equation which we get here from first case. And now here uh, we move uh, to uh, move forward for equation number two or case case number two so that here first we need to copy down equation number two here it will be written as m minus two square plus four equals to zero so here we again apply this square uh, formula uh, here we again apply this nice formula so according to uh, this formula we write this term as we write m minus 2 square as m square plus 2 square minus 2 times of m into 2 and this is plus 4 equals to 0. 
and we have m square plus this 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 m plus this is 4 equals to 0 and you see here this plus 4 uh, sorry uh, these are added by each other so here we need to add or subtract the like terms we have this is m square this is minus 4 m and this 4 plus 4 becomes 8 equals to 0 so this equation will become quadratic in m variable so here uh, uh, we have two methods one is we have three methods to solve this quadratic equation uh, by factorization by quadratic formula or by completing square so that now here we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so for applying the quadratic formula first we write the coefficients of this equation uh, and its coefficients are uh, a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 4 and c equals to 8 and we state the quadratic formula as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the over quadratic formula and now uh, here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula. Uh, so it will be written as m equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and it is divided by 2 times of a so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of minus 4 square equals to 16 minus uh, here you have uh, this is 4 multiplied by 8 uh, and it is divided by 2 so here you see that uh, we have 16 be the common term from here so we first write it as 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 32 divided by 2 so here you take common 16 in the uh, square root term when you take common 16 we get the remaining values are 1 minus 16 it is divided by 2 okay uh, here you get 1 and here you get 16 twos are 32 sorry here we have 2 and it is divided by 2 okay so here uh, we have 4 plus minus we know that square root of 16 equals to 4 and inside the square root r1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 and it is divided by 2 the so here we need uh, simplifications uh, so uh, first we can break this fraction it will be written as 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 and we know that minus 1 square root equals to iota and we get the values of uh, m r this is 2 times of 2 is 4 plus minus this is also 2 times of 2 is 4 we get uh, 2 plus minus 2 iota uh, so these are the other two uh, complex values of the given equation uh, and we have uh, the real values are m equals to 0 and 4 so these are the four roots of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.